Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Tent and Ten by a uh, collab between Zetamath and Palfly. Campling. All right. Well, um, these are ten lines which were invented by Zetamath. Uh, should be interesting to do in six by six. They're, I think they probably uh, are, are a bit more ambiguous in, uh, in nine by nine, but still should be fun. All right, well, let's go over the rules. There are normal six by six Sudoku rules, so in each row, each column, and each two by three box. We are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. We have these lines in the grid. These are 10 lines. So let's just read the rules. Digits along gray lines must be broken into one or more contiguous groups of cells that each add to 10. These groups cannot overlap. Digits may repeat within sums and lines if allowed by other rules. So we could split, um, let's see. We could split this line like this, and it doesn't have to be on box borders. We could do this, and then this, and then I guess we wouldn't want to do that, right? And then this. So we, maybe this is how the line gets segmented, right? And if it was segmented this way, then this would sum to 10, like maybe 4, 6. This would sum to 10, maybe like 1, 2. I'm not going to do all these examples, but here, let's do 2, 3, 5. And then this would add to 10, and this would add to 10. So. The point is, we don't know how it's segmented. We need to use logic to figure out how it gets segmented, and then each of those segments must add to 10. Um, some of these lines, we know where they start, but this line here is a loop, so you don't even know like where, where to start segmenting, but you still need to split it up. All right, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. So I, I'm pretty sure this just has to be one, two, three, four. Because no matter how we try to segment it, right, we, we can't we can't leave. Um, I'm actually going to use the line tool here to represent our segments, and we we can't put a ten in a single cell. We can't even put seven, eight, or nine in a single cell. So that's not going to work. So we can't do a segment length three. So the only other option would be to do two segment lengths of two, but the only way to do that is to put four six on both of them, which breaks the box. So this is just a ten line by itself as one two three four, and that leaves five six here. So we know actually that this segment starts here and this segment starts here because five plus six is 11. Whichever one is six needs to go with a four. Whichever one is five has some options. Oh no, the one that six could, it needs to add with four, but that could also be one, three, or even two, two in the right scenario. So we don't know, quite know how this works out. We don't even know which one's five or six. I wonder if we should think about this guy here. So we know that at the very least, these connect and these connect. Now. Do we know if it's any longer than that? Um, we do need a six somewhere in this column and a five. They're not both going here. So we either have a five here or a six here, and then the other one's here. I'm wondering if we, we definitely don't care whether we have a five or a six here. They're just not both here because that would add to 11 and we wouldn't be able to do it. But here, like I could definitely see doing five five. That that that's very viable. But if I did, um, so five works. But if I wanted a six, this definitely isn't six because these two would add to too much. So the six would go here. And the problem I'm having with that is that makes this have to be because now now this isn't the five, right? Or Actually, for some reason, I said that we would need six here and five here, or the other way around. But we could put a five-six pair here, I think, because we could go five-five. So I missed that case in my head. And then this would be six with either a one, three, or a four. So that works. What we couldn't do is six. No, we could even do six-four, and then this could just be a one-three. Okay, so I guess my point is, we can have six up here, and we can have five up here. So I don't know. We could even do a five-six pair. That was not helpful. What else do I need to think about here? Um, maybe I got I got to think about like how, how many segments are we going to end up with here? Maybe because I don't know how to think about this. Like these can extend quite a bit. Like I could do I could do five and then I could do um, one and one and three, and that that could be our 10 lines. Like we could go as far as four. We can't do more than four, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see how we would do more than four. So it could be up to four long. Um, 
it would use all the ones up. No, I... What am I missing here? It's not here, is it? We have a whole box here. Oh, oh, you know what? Maybe we need to like think about combining. So these green cells, right? The, the, this is our entire um, sneak. I know what this adds to, right? I know what this adds to because um, like we could do two boxes or two rows, but each each one adds to twenty one, and so the total is forty two. Now, importantly, 42 is not divisible by 10. So we know that the green is divisible by 10, but just missing this one cell here and then adding these two gets us from gets us from 42 to uh, it could get us down to 40. Could it get us up to we could go up to 50, right? Not Okay, well, uh, is this telling me that this can't be 10? No, because, okay, if, if this added to 10, then it would be, that would place this as a, as a 2, right? Because if this was 10, if this didn't continue into this box, then we know these add to 42. And so if we want to remove this and be divisible by 10, it better be a 2. So that's one option. Another option is this encroaches in here. In which case, this, how do we do that? Um, I, I'm trying to like define a difference between these two. I think the difference is just eight. Because the way to think about that is, is this purple cell, so, so we're, with a baseline of 42, this purple cell here is subtracted from it. So we're doing minus purple. And then these two are added to it. Um, and that brings us to... That's got to be either negative two. So like, for example, if this was a six, then this could technically be a one three. Because what this does is... This is 42. We subtract 6 from that, which brings us to 36, and then we add 4 more, and that gets us to 40. So there's kind of a, a mod 8 difference here. Or a mod, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right, I don't think that's the right term. The difference mod 8 is 8, I don't know. Difference mod 10 is 8. I think that's, uh, difference mod 10 is 8. <laughs> so th these are either sum to negative 2, or they sum to 8. I don't think they can sum to 18. Um, sorry, not sum, but this minus this is either negative 2 or 8. So if I wanted it to be 8, I could do 4, 6. I can't do 5, 6, right? That breaks our 10 line. So I could either do 4, 6 with a 2 here, or I could make them, uh, I could make this smaller than this. Um, and if this was smaller than this, ooh, does that... Does that break things? I don't know. What I'm thinking about is how this cell sees this. I don't know if that matters, but okay. So that's one option, 4, 6 with a 2. The other option is, for example, if this was a 6, then these would need to add to 4, which would be 1, 3. This could be a 5, in which case this would add to 3, right? And that's all we could do. So it doesn't have a 5 on it, is what we learned. I'm kind of wondering about how we would continue, but this is 2, 5, or 6 is the conclusion I've had so far. I wonder if we can do something similar to this um, to this other box here, to this other line. Because we know this adds to 11, so this sum needs to get us to 10. We know this is 21, plus, a, plus 11, so 21 plus 11. Let's actually call this out in purple. So green is 21 plus 11, which is... Um, 31 plus 1, 32, sorry. <laughs> 21 plus 11 is 32. These are going to add 8 or 18, but they can't be 18. So th these two sum to 8. That's the conclusion. How do we sum to 8? Well, we can't do 1, 7. We could do 2, 6, or 3, 5. 
Oh, I just shouldn't have one, two, three marked in it. Sorry. Um, two, six, or three, five. So how does that work here? Well, this certainly isn't a six. That wouldn't work. So that's not six. So that's not two. Well, if these sum to eight, and this can't be two, these have to sum to, oh, interesting. These have to sum to 10 on their own. Oh, that's neat. So I, I think I started with the wrong line <laughs> doing sums, but um, it may, I, I had info on this line. I just didn't think about it. Um, so yeah, because these have to sum to eight, if we extended the line into it, this would add to eight. This would have to be a two or less. It can't be. So this line stops here. We start a new line here. And then these sum to 10 then. And we can't do six, four. Because four can't sum to eight with, with, with anything. Um, so this this is five five and that makes this six. Okay, and that's three. So that's not a six. Okay, narrowing that down. <laughs> um, so what does that mean here? It means this is not five or six. So we know we needed a five or six up here, and so this is this is the five or six that had to be up here, because remember we can't put both five and six down here. That was a while ago, but <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, if we continued here, we'd be too big. We'd be at least 11. So this is just 6, 4, and then we continue like this. All right, that puts a 4 up here. Just a 4 down here. Might as well mark that. Um, 5 is up here. 6 is up here. All right. I don't know if that's necessary. But, um, so how does this continue? If this was... F no, no matter what, this can't be too long. Because with a 5, you have to be at least 3 long. And with a 6, we can't do 6, 4. So this continues up to here. Now from this three, we actually have to continue because we can't. Th this can't be a seven. And so now I believe we have finished the the segments. So these add to seven without a four. So and without a five. So they're not. They they're, they could be one six. They're not two five. They're not three four. So they are one six, making this a five. Putting a six on here. Um, and with the five, we need two three. This works out. That's the two. That's the three. So that's now a five. Okay, great. So now, now I actually know what this digit is, which helps a lot. It's not a two. So now that this is a five, this actually has to be a one, two. So these have a, a uh, this minus this is negative two because we can't make this minus this equal to 10. <laughs> this can't be 15. The biggest we can do is 11. So this is our one. This is our two. We have three minus five is negative two. Great. So that's six and one. So this definitely has to continue. It's only three, and it has to continue again because it's this can't be a seven. So these these add to seven. Uh, could we we could technically do one two four here? So we could continue to be five length. That might be interesting. Um, so we don't know if this continues or not. There's definitely a six on here. I wonder. This is one or four. It's not a one. Two three four. Hmm. There can't be a four on here, so oh sorry, I, I missed that. The four is gone. So this is this is actually one, two, three, six, but oh uh no, I don't know anything about that. But what I do know is it has to grow, right? Because this adds to at oh. Can I use the I can't use the four with it, there's a six on here. So this has to be a one. So this could be three, six. Oh, this is a four. Okay, I can there's a four on here. Um what can I do with this? So there's definitely a one up here. This is from two, three, six. So I don't think we can do two, six. That has to eight. This would be nine, and we need another one. So we have to do three, six, and this line's done. And that places the three up here. This is a two, four pair. So starting with the two, four pair, that's only six. We have to continue. Now we could we could place another four there. This is six already. This could just be a four, and then we continue. But oh. Otherwise, we'd have to add to four in two more, but the three is gone, so we can't actually do that. So this has to be four, two, and four. And then now we have to start a new line. Whoopsie. Wrong mode. So th these are just one, two, six. Now, can this be a six? No, the one is placed here in this box. Um, Five is down here somewhere. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking the five is not possible here, but I'm thinking we need we can't this can't be a six at all. Actually, is what I want to think about. 
Um, if it was a six, we would need to do uh, either a four here, which we can't, or a one three here, which we can't. So this is a two. That's one, that's six, that's two and one. All right, I think we're doing well. This is three or six. This is two, uh, sorry, <laughs> three, five, six. So what are we doing here? This uh, this is just two, so we definitely need to be at least three long. Okay, so that tells us what this is. This adds to four, so this is our six, and then two, three, five. Okay, that's our 10 line. This is three and six. And it should just be Sudoku from here. I wonder if there was already Sudoku I could have done, but whatever. Uh, this is a four, six pair. Uh, we know the order, All right? That places this four. This is a three, giving us five and three. That's our five, that's our two, and we're done. All right, very neat puzzle, Zeta and Palafly. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I thought about the wrong line, but it, it did come into play eventually. It's just I didn't have to case check it because um, we, we were get, it's interesting. We were given these, which helped with the total sum of this line. And then that gave this digit, which helped with the total sum of this line. And the, the, the relationship here was neat. Um, really interesting to think about. Nice. Well, let me know how you did. If you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.